hardness of water. So what is hardness? What do you mean by hard water? When hard, hard water means water is water that means some impurities and due to this impurity water is hard and the property of that water is hardness. So if we will discuss about hardness of water then hardness of water is that property which prevent leather formation with the soap solution. What does it mean? It means that when we treat hard water with soap solution or with detergent then in that case instead of forming leather or foam it forms white precipitate and that white precipitate is known as scum scum that curdy precipitate is known as scum now we will discuss about the reaction what reaction takes place when hard water react with detergent or soap solution hard water means it contains some impurities and that impurity is related to calcium or magnesium salts so here here c7 h35 co n this is soap sodium stearate this is soap and when this soap solution react with hard water which contain impurities like calcium chloride or many more impurities but here we will discuss only one reaction then similar reaction takes place with other salt also so this water is hard when this hard water react with soap then it forms white precipitate which we are saying at as scum so reaction will be c17 h35 coo whole twice c plus 2 na cn you have to maintain the valency so this soap solution react with hard water and it forms white precipitate which is known as scum and that scum is also known as the curdy precipitate and it means instead of forming lather it forms white precipitate along with that some byproduct also. So this reaction takes place when water is hard or that property is known as hardness. Now this hardness, it is of two types. Hardness, it is of two types. First is temporary hardness and second is permanent hardness. Now what will happen in the temporary hardness? In temporary hardness, temporary hardness means which are temporary. It can be removed out by simple method. And that simple method is boiling method. By boiling, we can easily remove the temporary hardness. And that's why this process, this hardness is known as temporary hardness because it is easily removed out by simple boiling process but in case of permanent it cannot be permanent means it cannot be removed out by simple process what we will do we will do certain methods what certain methods there are different uh, methods like ls method that is Lime soda method, geolite method, and the third one is iron exchange method. So now temporary hardness is which is temporary, permanent hardness 
which is not easily removed. That's why it is called permanent hardness. Now this temporary hardness, what are the examples of temporary hardness? Examples are carbonates of carbonates and bicarbonates. Carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium. So temporary hardness is due to the presence of what type of impurities? Carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium. So that's why this type of hardness is also known as carbonate hardness so if we talk about it will say that temporary hardness or we can say carbonate hardness so both are same so carbonate hardness carbonates of carbonate and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium now in case of permanent hardness permanent hardness except carbonate hardness except carbonate and bicarbonates rest of the impurities comes in permanent hardness and that permanent hardness, it means this type of hardness is also known as non-carbonate hardness. Because in this, there is no carbonate except carbonate that is uh, calcium and magnesium carbonate, bicarbonate. Except that we can uh, remove all other impurities like calcium chloride, calcium fluoride, calcium nitrate, magnesium chloride. So there are a number of ions except these carbonates. So that comes in permanent hardness. Now this, if we we'll talk about the temperate reaction, what will happen? The reaction is, suppose if we we'll boil the water, then what will happen? These bicarbonates, on boiling, converted into calcium carbonate calcium carbonate so these are the precipitate plus H2O plus CO so this type of reaction takes place when we boil the water hard water and it contains both the temporary as well as permanent hardness then temporary hardness is removed out by boiling and it forms calcium carbonate along with that H2 and CO2 is formed. Similarly, if we will discuss magnesium bicarbonate, then again by boiling, what it forms? Magnesium carbonate plus H2O and CO2 okay so this type of hardness this type of hardness can be removed out by boiling permanent hardness that we will already discuss these are the methods and these are some long methods so we will discuss when we prevent we will talk about the softening methods so in this manner we can remove the temporary hardness as well as permanent hardness Temporary hardness is known as carbonate hardness and permanent hardness is known as non-carbonate hardness. Now, this question comes, what type of question comes, that is, what is hardness? Hardness hoti kya hai? What is hardness? And how many types of hardness are there? How many types of hardness are there? Two types of hardness. So, this question is very, very important. And this definitely come in RQ exam also, either in short question or definitely in short question. But along with that, short sometimes what they do? What is hardness? How many types of hardness is there? And how we can determine those hardness? So determination method that we will discuss later. So this is a very, very important topic and that will definitely come in RQ. So we should know hardness and types of 